I've noticed a rather interesting trend lately when it comes to open world games, at least as far as the reception of them goes. People always seem to prefer running about the world, exploring and getting into trouble, which is nothing new in free roaming games, but there does seem to be a shared sentiment, especially recently, that returning to the story and carrying out missions feels more like an obligation than anything else. Something you do only after you've gotten bored of the side activities. No matter how well written and involving the story may be, we'd much rather be doing something else. Why is this? Well, it might have something to do with the fact that when you've given the player an interesting, expansive world to play in, that's exactly what they want to do. Asking them to head to a precise point on the map and await instructions puts the game in two different mindsets. On the one hand, you are removing the leash from the player and letting them go on their own adventure. On the other hand, you are limiting any input the player might have and simply asking them to come along for the ride. There's no skill or meaningful interaction in asking the player to follow a bunch of waypoints, especially when you've introduced them to such a wide and varied world, which players will use any excuse to run around in. In Far Cry 3 and 4, you look through your equipment and see plenty of opportunities to upgrade them. So you look up which animals are needed, look them up on the map, set your waypoint and are on your way to do some hunting. We are taking meaningful actions to get something that we want. Even the opportunity to open up some fast travel points or any sort of tangible reward is enough to take us off the beaten path as we're being asked to use our own initiative to solve problems. One noticeable difference between the two different mindsets is that one is asking us to interact with the world while the other isn't, and may as well be a linear game. Is there a way to improve this aspect of the game whilst using the same tools as this one? I say yes. To do so, it would help if these games utilise the biggest strength that they have, the world. You have an opportunity that smaller, more linear games don't have, in that you can let the player explore the world at their own pace and get to know it. By the time I'm done, I should be intimate with the world and know it inside out, rather than just feeling like a passenger. In Grand Theft Auto V, there's a mission where you have to drop a car off in an alley, then call someone to let them know where it is. Hey, I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done, where's it stored? La Mesa. This little exchange stuck out to me, because it was the first time I'd heard an area's name said out loud in any meaningful way. I know nothing about this city, I just drive through it to get to waypoints. The waypoints, by the way, may be the biggest problem here. I get their function. You don't want players getting lost or overwhelmed upon booting up your game, but they just make everything feel far too simple. You just follow them from place to place. I'm not saying we need to go all the way back to games like Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, where players follow directions and signposts to get to places, though maybe something in the middle might be nice. For example, in GTA 5, let's say that Lester calls you and tells you to meet somewhere, let's say in La Mesa, and instead of a waypoint coming up, you have to look through your map, like the one given with physical copies of the game, find where La Mesa is, set your own waypoint, then get on your way. It's a small change to the way it's normally done, but it makes a world of difference for three major reasons. Firstly, because the player is being asked to use initiative to solve a problem. Secondly, because it is asking us to directly interact with the world, as opposed to just passing through it. And thirdly, it will result in us developing more of a relationship with the world, to the extent that by the end of the game, you almost feel like a taxi driver. Upon hearing a location, you say, oh yeah, I know where that is, and head off without even needing to fiddle with your map. There is a mission with this thought in mind later on in the game, where you're asked to find three cars which have been dropped at three different locations. Instead of a waypoint, you're only given a handful of clues to work with, so you do a little research and eventually find them. This simple mission was probably the most satisfying one in the whole game, because it's probably the only time we're asked to solve a problem without being directly told the solution. The only recent game I can think of that uses this approach on a more fundamental level is Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes where you're just given vague directions as to where the objective is, then asked to figure the rest out for yourself. This is a simple idea, and it may not work with every game out there. Steelport in Saints Row is just a city where crazy shit happens, and whatever this city is in Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction, it's just an excuse to smash some stuff. But the fact remains that if players are willing to pick up open world free roaming games, it may imply that they don't want their hands held. I hate feeling like we have to do chores in games, there are some beautiful open worlds out there, and we should be making the most of them. 